Hello, my beautiful Sagittarius dragons. Welcome to your June bonus. So I have to say thank you. Thank you so much for your, that was a really horrible shuffle. I can't shuffle and talk at the same time. Thank you so much for your support for my teeny tiny channel. I do appreciate it. So let's go ahead and see what the cards have to say for you. So right now I'm getting something from the moon. Um, Oracle, we had a very powerful full moon on the 14th of June. So I just thought I'd pull out my lovely moon deck, which I absolutely adore. Oh, let's see. I'm trying not to peek. I totally peeked. <laughs> uh, I am not good with surprises, guys. I totally peeked. Oh, okay. See, I totally, I can't help it. I can't help it. Ever since I was little, I can't help it. I don't like surprises. So, and it's not like, oh, I hate surprises. Like, I can't stand. Um, I just, I'd rather know. So, let's see what the cards say for you today. So, we have a new romantic cycle begins. Look at this. The Fates. Oh, my God. The Grim Reaper and Ascending. You are going to be getting into a much better relationship than what this Grim Reaper had to take away from you. This is divinely guided, right? Oh my gosh. I wish I was Sagittarius right now. Okay. A new romantic cycle begins. Now say that you're in a relationship. You're like, Shannon, listen, <laughs> you gotta stop doing this to me because, um, I'm married or I'm very happy. And you know what? That doesn't mean that you can't cycle in your relationship. Okay. You may be getting over something. You might be growing together, right? You might be learning together. You might be deciding to do something together. Maybe you're taking up meditating or yoga or volleyball. I don't care. Chess, right? Who cares? But you guys are um, sort of transcending together, right? So whatever it is, it's, it's getting ready for a union. Now it could also be that you're getting ready for marriage, right? So summertime's here, but whatever it is, is this new romantic cycle begins. So wherever you're at, you're going up a step, okay? Aw, that's very sweet. So I'm a <laughs> very single, so this is not my reading. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> it wouldn't be mine anyways. I'm just kidding. I was just thinking about that. I'm like, oh, that's so sweet. That's so sweet. So let's see what we have for our beautiful Sagittarius. Oh, okay. You know, I'm going to accept those. I don't know if I'm going to go into my other deck because a lot came out here, but they came out with like a purpose. Yeah. You put an end to something that really hurt you because you have the death card, you have the ten of swords in the reverse and the four cups in reverse. So you, it's almost like you were daydreaming about getting back together with some somebody, or if you're with somebody, you were daydreaming about, oh, the good times, right? Oh, this time or that time, or maybe you were hanging on to a painful event. Okay. Or maybe the other person was right. And it's just like, no, you know what? If we're going to move ahead, we need to let go of this. Okay. And same with you. If you want to move ahead, you need to let go of this. You have this 10 of wands and it came out sideways. So it's about a burden being lifted. And you also took up the responsibilities to get it to be lifted. So you created your freedom, whether it's with somebody or on your own, so that you could meet your romantic somebody. Okay, the Knight of Wands is in reverse. And this is about um, just a delay. I think that something was delayed. If this has to do with marriage, I don't usually pick up heavy wedding energy, but I really am today with this. Um, it might've been postponed for a reason. Okay. So, but that's okay. It's, it's moving on, right? It could have even been broken off, right? And that's where death comes in because you would be moving away from that and actually finding um, what you were supposed to be with. Now, don't, that doesn't mean if you're still with the person to break up with them. Okay. You need to figure out if that's a healthy relationship for you. Okay. Now we have the fates. Let me just pull out these cards. Yeah. So you have the star in reverse, and this is about feeling very disconnected. And I think that maybe you didn't take care of something or you went against sort of destiny. You knew that you should have done something, but you didn't. 
okay? And then you have the three of wands. So you actually did take charge and you did go on to a new path. It was not in the direction um, that you thought it would be. I feel like you sort of went on a more of a self-discovery. With the lovers in reverse, it's about you amalgamating the two parts of you together, like gentle and strong, right? So, and it's finding the balance in yourself. And you ended this cycle. This is a Scream Reaper, Reaper, right? So now we have the High Priestess in reverse. And I think that you were very quiet about all of this. You also... Um, you found your true path. You knew what you found your purpose. And it's about you giving. You have the six of pentacles here, okay? It's about um, you sort of taking care of obligations, but also about, about you being generous, right? It's about you being um, abundant and, and, and sharing that. Right, like it's almost like you you found yourself and you decided that you wanted to go and help others with whatever this is. But it's almost like you got pulled off of your path and now you're slowly being guided back onto it. And uh, I don't know if you're doing this with your partner. I don't know where this goes with that. Maybe I will pull from the other deck. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, look, we have the four of wands in the upright here. You're once this closes out, you're I think that you're just gonna be so happy and you're gonna see everything. Yeah, back here, the world in the reverse, the queen of pentacles, the king of cups in reverse, and the three of wands in reverse. Yeah, you didn't know where you're going. You kept going back into cycles. Like this was I feel like this was a long time to get out of. And now you're sort of celebrating and you're in freedom. It's like, yes. Let's go, right? I now know what I should be doing. I now know my purpose. I now have figured out exactly what I want. And you're going and doing it with or without somebody, okay? I, this new romantic cycle beginning, I don't know, guys. You tell me, okay? This is your reading for June. Thank you once again for your support for my channel. I will see you guys in July.